Hi, it's Paul from Sailing Cape Louise. I'm back at Mile Lakes. saying I'm back at Mile Lakes and there's a bit of wind, so much wind I actually lost my hat. Uh, by the time I turned around it had sunk to the bottom, so never mind, I've got other ones. Beautiful day, sunny, hardly anybody around. Yes, I'm back at Mile Lakes, one of my favourite places to sail on my Stornoway 18, Cape Louise. I love it up here because there's heaps of room to sail in fairly protected waters and Mile Lakes also incorporates 40 kilometres of ocean beachfront on the other side of the sand dunes. It's about 236 k's north of Sydney. And on this trip I'm joining Steve, Phil and his wife Brenda for a few days sailing around. I'm here a day early so I'm going to try and head up towards Corsman's Landing and then back to Johnson's Beach tonight. The wind's coming from the northeast and it's pretty fresh, probably 15 to 17 knots. about four o'clock, sorry I don't have a shirt on, it's on the boat, apologies there. Um, yeah, had a good sail today, down right towards the end, just about to turn around towards Causeman's Landing. Um, it was too windy to go all the way down there because uh, I'd have to tack all the way back. There's still quite a bit of breeze, um, probably 10, 12 knots. And I'm here at Johnson's Beach, so I'll spend the night here. It's not as protected as I thought it would be, but it's not a bad spot, eh? So this is Ben who Hello. built who built his shimmy how many years ago? Five years ago. Five years ago. But he's been up in far north Queensland yep. for a long time, so it hasn't had a lot of use. No. Nope. And and uh, this is your first sale out for a while? Uh, I was out sailing over Christmas, so I was out um, Lake St. Clair, Lake Macquarie. Oh yeah. Uh, and so they're just doing um, a lot of the inland waterways locally. Mile Lakes of course is such a wonderful spot. Isn't it? Like the, the sort of place that this boat is built for, full length keel, shoal draft, you can go right up on these sands. Yeah, and, it's, um, it's glorious here, absolutely yeah. glorious. I had this idea in my head of a boat that I wanted to be sailing and wasn't interested in so much of a racing but more of a touring. And the other advantage of the scruffy boats is a lot of them come as kits, which yes. makes it a lot yeah. easier. So, so the reason why I uh, went with a kit in the end was uh, the advice, like I'd read a lot about designing boats and the number one thing that a lot of very experienced boat builders said is don't build, like, uh, if you're going to build a boat, build wasn't one that is of a proven design. So I thought, Absolutely, oh, I'm yeah. not going to build my own design because then it's going to be, have teaming issues and things yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought, well, I'll go and um, look at someone who's already designed and built these boats and, and get a kit off that. Well, that was really interesting. I was just sitting here looking at the view and I could see this boat go past and I thought that's a shimmy which is a, a younger sister of the Stornoway 18, both scruffy boats. So I just went over and had a chat with Ben who built it himself um, a few years ago and uh, yeah, 
Lovely bloke. Nice boat. About to have a pasta bean dish that was frozen. And fancy meeting a shimmy owner. That's made my day. It's actually mushroom bolognese and it's really good. So thanks, not the better half, but light of my life. No sunset tonight. Well, good morning. It's about 7.30. Very peaceful morning. Lovely. Last night the wind didn't really die down till about two o'clock. So there was a bit of tarp flapping involved, but uh, not too bad. I've just had my coffee and it was really good. The sun's about to poke over the top of the trees, so that's nice. And it looks like it's going to be another wonderful day. Beautiful here. Now, the forecast is rain sometime between 8 and 2 p.m. Chance of a shower. Uh, no evidence of rain coming so far. Well, I've just got through the narrows from Violet Hill and now we're out in the big lake. And there's a nice breeze out here. Probably six to eight knots, something like that. There's a few people out here. The rain seems to have held off, so it's all good in the world. And Ashbardi won. Good honour. I just stopped to put a reef in, first reef. I think the wind's picked up a bit. I think Steve down there is doing the same thing. We're powering along. I think the wind has actually dropped a bit, so I've shaken out the reef. It doesn't seem to be any white caps. Trying to catch Steve. We're both on a broad reach. Uh, well, I just can't catch up with him so fast. And we're flying. So, this is Steve and his former, and he's got a new bed concept which we're going to, well, we, Steve's going to try out tonight. Um, yeah. So it's just because he's got such a big four deck. Yeah, and these are just here and lay up there, and your legs come down here. Heaps of room. Yeah, and it all fits inside the buoyancy and it area. All fits inside. Yeah, which is huge. This boat has so much room. Yeah, 
a lot of people liked your Aldi espresso maker. I did. There were a few comments there. Oh, that looks like a really good thing. And I'm going, yeah. yeah. So it's about five o'clock. I'm just setting up for the night. It is very shallow here, so it'll have to be quite a long way out. Phil's over there and he draws 450. He's got a drop sander board out of a skeg keel that's about 450 deep. That's a Sun Made 20. so peaceful just a few birds just took the chance to come ashore on a bit of a walk it's a good night the wind did come up a little bit and it was a little bit bouncy for a while but then it uh, died down again fantastic spot here Shelley Beach at Mar Lakes sailing again and the plan is today to head up towards Narani Sands. I haven't actually made it that far before. The wind is still coming from the northeast and at the moment it's only three or four knots but later it's meant to get stronger. spot we had last night hopefully we'll get the same one tonight the wind will swing around a bit so I'm not sure how protected it will be but we'll uh, we'll see later on but it's a beautiful day to be out in the water pretty hot probably about 30 degrees thank goodness there's a bit of cloud cover every now and then anyway we're going nicely I'd just like to say thank you to all those people that leave nice comments on the channel. I've had comments from people in Japan, Russia, Norway, Oregon, Alaska, the Orkneys, north of Scotland, all around the world. And as they're going through their winter in the Northern Hemisphere, I think they enjoy seeing some sailing in Australia in the summer. So thank you for your continued support. I do appreciate it and I will answer all comments. Thank you. That's Steve down there. Glorious day.
trying to get to Narani, which is over there. The wind's a bit variable here. Very shallow, probably three metres. Call me weak, I've thrown in the towel. It's too hard to get up to Narani. Just attacking backwards and forwards and not going very fast in the right direction. So I'm gonna turn and head for home because there is meant to be a change coming later this afternoon. It'll probably take an hour, an hour and a half to get back. So um, yeah, I'll head back. dehydrating my dinner which is some sort of beans mix my wife says I should just call them surprises um, so I'm dehydrating a bean surprise a vegetarian bean surprise of course um, the sun's setting is about seven o'clock I think and it's still bloody hot let me tell you it is really hot um, yeah had a good day sail today, it's really nice, even though the winds were light, we managed to go quite a long way, didn't get quite to Narani, but um, you know, got near enough, and then a really fast sail back, so it was really nice. He's brought his friend along. Hello. 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 We had a bit of excitement about half an hour ago. There was a houseboat and he'd run aground and he was trying to power off without boards and it just wouldn't work. And then we realised that he'd actually was resting on a log on the bottom because there's some logs here from uh, the tree felling days and we, uh, we nearly, well, we came close to them last night uh, and he was act absolutely wedged on top of it. So we got the winch on the front of the houseboat and attached it to the log and then managed to winch the houseboat off the log. But then of course the anchor was stuck on the log, so then we had to try and get the anchor off the log. Um, and houseboats are pretty heavy. So there's about six or eight people pushing this boat, trying to get it off. Eventually we got it off. Um, and now he's moored out a bit deeper. <laughs>
Standing six days. <laughs> okay, five dollars to go. Who wants to go? Five dollars. Well, it's about 11.30 and we've decided to go for a sail because the wind is meant to be coming about now. Um, what can I say? It's good kayaking weather. Uh, there's hardly any breeze at all. There might be more out in the middle. Um, but we'll see how we go. I think this is the first time I've actually overtaken Steve in history. Yeah, the jets going overhead was quite interesting. They get so close to the water so loud too because there's a, an air base not too far from here and they the jets practice over the lakes because obviously that's a bit safer in case they come down yeah so we're going to go th to violet hill and then to johnson's and then maybe all the way around to the ferry if we can get enough wind going in that direction or else we'll stay at uh, johnson's beach again tonight rather than here, which is Shelley, because you can see it is pretty crowded. But we had a nice night last night around the fire, chatting away. And uh, yeah, it's good, good night's sleep. So Phil's made his wife jump overboard and tow the boat, because there's no wind. Very generous of her. Well, we've given up the uh, idea of a sail. There is zero wind. And we're absolutely cooking out here. It must be must be easily 30 some odd degrees. The deck is so hot, even for me to put my feet on. So uh, we're going to motor around to Violet Hill, and then uh, maybe just go to Johnson's because this wind doesn't look like it's going to happen. But it is meant to be 20 knots at some stage today, so maybe there's a big southerly buster coming later on. But um, it is so hot out here. So hot. Beautiful, but hot. So Phil and Brenda gave me a tow across the main lake there. And we've just got to the, the uh, narrows of Violet Hill. And there's a little bit of wind here, but not very much. <sighs> Guys, it's hot. It is really hot. Steve's over there. He got there really quickly. It's about seven o'clock and we just had dinner. I had one of these continental pasta sensations with spinach and bacon and let me tell you it was quite good and I added a tin of flavoured tuna to it and um, mm, very good indeed. So as a dried food you know you can take a few on the boat, it's a really good idea and it tastes pretty good and if continental wants to send me a few cases for these thank you very much indeed. It's a joke you don't have to. Well, good morning. It rained a bit overnight. The wind did shift. We came very close together, but there was no bonking this time. So Steve and I have got to head back. Philip Brenda is staying here for another day or so. Yeah, it's been good. See you next time. So there you go, another few days up at Mile Lakes. We had a great time. Thanks for watching Sailing Cape Louise and I'll see you on the water somewhere next time. <laughs>